Come on, zebra. There you go. Well done. All right. All right, let's, let's get back and just let it be. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at you. Hi, beautiful. Calm down. It was a baby. Hi. Hi. You might actually live. Wow. Zebra has been snared by poachers, probably down the river, which is behind us, and it made it this far. I can't see where it's wounded. Is it around the neck right there? It looks tight around the neck. So it's still alive. Oh dear. I still wish we could. I think it could if we could snip that. So why don't you go back and get your snippers? Get it chopped. Huh? I think we can try, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get snippers and we're going to try to cut off that. It's hard for me to get close because I don't want to spook it, but it's like a wire around its neck and you can see it like it goes around the neck uh, in between its legs and then it's attached it was a t if you see the wire right there it's hard to see it but it comes around here it is and it's attached to a pole if you see this pole so it must have oh boy please relax relax poor thing relax So the snare must have been down at the river, in that, down that way, the river somewhere, and so it must have dragged it and pulled it off the ground and dragged it all the way here. Kenya. <laughs> Eh, can you see Masa when I do it? Menya. Eh, I better look out. Nothing I interesting, are you? Okay, so he's just cutting the piece of shrub that the wire is attached to just to kind of loosen the, the wire around the neck. I feel bad because we're free. You can see it's shaking, it's freaking out. Poor thing. Oh, a shit. There you go, better. I need the new crop. Let me look at it like that. Go down only. The new remote is not yet doing an hour. By that, now I have book. Oh, baby. Are you going to be able to go through it? Nice. Yeah. The tube? Mm -hmm. Watch what you're doing. I've got, I've got a saw in the middle. You want to be perfect. Kevin, to jump. Let's let it go. I've got a saw. Just afraid that those are going to poke it. Be careful. Stay back, Sana, please. And somehow, Are you sure it didn't die? No, it's still? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's already cut off. I know. Oh, you're just cutting it. Watch your feet. <laughs> don't get kicked in the mouth. Come on, come on, baby, get up. Stay back. Stay back, stay back please. It stayed for too long, so it's. I know. Sanag, move back, please. You're okay. Don't give up. 
Come on. Go. Oh. <laughs> Go bite you. How about you just pull it? No, it's under its neck. Now we can pull it. Don't kick me. Maybe it's broken. Could be. There's blood. Can you try? You can get up now. Oh, the neck is broken. Maybe. Can you get up? Go behind the car and pee. You can go right behind the car. Yeah. You yeah. Go Maybe Let's try lift. lift the head. Try? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Like if I could hold its ears and pull it up. Come on. Can you try? Come on. You can do it. Uh-huh. I hear you. To like push yeah, it over. Just if it looks like. Use, you know what? Can I give you some advice? See the tail? Yeah, Someone yeah. stand here and pull the tail. Mm, why? No, that's where it's going to kick. You're not going to be able to lift it though, I don't think. We can encourage it. Okay. Come on, zebra. There you go. Well done. All right. All right, let's, let's get back and just let it be. Yeah. Oh my God, look at you. Hi, beautiful. Calm down. It was okay. a baby. Hi. Hi. You might actually live. Wow. Oh my God. So after we freed it, it took off in the wrong direction down toward the river where we suspect it was snared in the first place. So Lippin and I ran as fast as we could down to the river to uh, coax it back in the other direction. So here it is, it's finally, I don't know if you can see it, right up there in the trees. It's headed back up past our driveway, back toward the bigger part of the farm. And maybe, just maybe, it's heading towards one of our watering troughs. So if we're lucky, it will actually go drink some water before it heads back out. It's obviously very hurt. It's hard to see at this distance, but under, under this tree right there is our zebra. We went back to try and find it to see if we could give it some water, but it had moved. So it's wandered back farther into the farm, but it's still hanging its neck in a bad way. It probably won't survive the, the next day or two. The hyenas will come at night. But I'd rather have hyenas get it than poachers. See it there. Oh God, don't run away, don't hurt yourself. 
I really think the neck is broken. Yeah, I think we should leave it alone. 